Hi, this is Ryan. I'm going to show you how to save your project as an audio file and then convert that audio file to MP3 using iTunes. So I've got my project here and I'm ready to bounce it. So I'm going to go up to File, Bounce, Project or Section. I can actually make an MP3 through Logic, but for the purposes of this, I'm not going to. So we've got this set, all these parameters are right. This is not what I want because I accidentally had something selected. So I could manually adjust this and then hit bounce or I could hit cancel, deselect, do the same thing again. Starts from one, that's good. Notice the ending is not where I have it ended. So again, I could do this or I could change the ending parameter which you'll find in most other software as well. So I'll put that there, got my beginning, my end. Now when I go up to bounce, it's set exactly the way that I want and that'll get me what I'm looking for. I also want to include the audio tail. Uh, sometimes there's a little bit of reverb or something left on the end. This allows you to have a much more natural ending to your track. So I'm gonna leave that on. Hit bounce, you're gonna need to save it. So I've already kind of labeled this before. So bouncing example. I'm going to save it to my desktop, hit bounce. Once it's done bouncing, I can minimize this and I can see it right there. But it's a wave and we need to make it an MP3. So I'm going to open up iTunes. I can double click this guy and it'll import. And there it is. If I right click it, I have a feature here that says create MP3 version. Yours may not say that. So in order to get the right thing, in case it says WAVE or AIF or AAC, whatever, go up to iTunes, Preferences, Import Settings, and make sure that you have the MP3 encoder selected rather than anything else. So you say OK, hit OK again. Then when I right click it, I create an MP3 version. It's right next to it. And if I check with command I for info. I can double check. Yes, it is indeed an MP3. I can also name it here if I know I needed to name it for the homework assignment. We'll call it that. It's already an MP3, so I don't need to write dot MP3. Just hit OK. Now we have our MP3 labeled correctly. I can minimize that. And if I go to the box widget here, I can go and select my file which I know will be in music and I can search for homework 4 and it'll show up right there hit open homework 4 underscore Ray Ryan dot mp3 exactly the way it needs to see and I'll put in an email and then hit upload success that's all there is to it okay thanks for watching